Hello and welcome to this first look mod video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Wide Garage by ICAS. So let's jump in, let's go. So for this one we go under Construction, under Sheds. We'll scroll down to the bottom. There we have it, our Wide Garage. It costs 80000 It has a maintenance cost of £2, Euros or Dollars on the cycle. And it is a big one. I mean, it is obviously wide. It is, it is a big wide shed. I like it. So we're going to... Flip it around that way and see if we can get some better light in there than I normally have for these. And we'll pop that down just like that. And as you can see, it's got a really, considering how big of a shed it is, big mod it is, it's got a really nice, small, tidy footprint when it's placed down. So that's really cool. And ours is white. So wait there, did I miss customization? We've got customization. So, and we've got a full list of colors on this. This must be a thing now. Which is, I love it. We can have farms of any, <laughs> any colour we like. That's that's absolutely awesome. We just go with navy blue on this. I like that. I am I am liking the customization options that we are getting. That is really cool. Oh my god, it is open at both ends. This is fucking awesome. The wide garage by Ikas. What a beast of a shed this is. It's beautiful as well. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. We've got beam work, we've got nice panels, it's clean, it's smooth, it's tidy. Slab, cement slab flooring. Like our gutter and runoff. It's the little things, we've got a little, a little texture there, but I'm sure they can address that in time. It's the trouble you get the multiple textures and multiple layers. It's just a matter of millimetres, if that. To, to stop the flickering. It's not always easy to see. But from the outside it's looking nice. We've got external lights. Which I'm assuming at the minute that they're going to come on automatically at night. I did see that inside we had some lights as well. So we'll check on if there's a light switch. We've got an external uh, light there as well. Beams are nice. This is really cool. I like... I like the, the metal girders on the wood beams. How it's all coming together. Can anyone see a light switch? There we go. Lights are on. And is that inside and out? That's not. So I am assuming the outside lights are automatic. Unless there is a second switch. And I can't see one. But yeah, this is, this is huge. You could fit... Pretty much a whole farm that I sometimes run. You could fit my whole Zalonka farm in this shed. This is beautiful. We've got the skylights as well. Round spotlights. The long tube lights. The beams look somewhat sort of rusted and worn in the corners as well. That like that it's not brand new. Again, if you've watched any of my other first little videos, you know that I like that. I like when sheds and stuff look a little bit worn. Not perfectly brand new. So we turned this around. So initially, I think this is the back and that's the front. So when we placed it, that's probably a good job that we turned it around. We flipped that. We flipped that into looking really nice. That is cool. I like this shed. I mean, we've had a good run around and we've had a good look at it. I'm not sure what else I can uh, can say about this. But it's, other than it is bloody massive. But it's, it's, it's beautiful. This is a beautiful shed. Customizable. We could have a bright pink one of these. Salmon pink. We could go for sunspot yellow. Absolutely glorious. I love it. I really like this. This is this is so cool. So cool. Hopefully you guys like it too. If you do, you know where to go and find it. There'll be a link down in the description. Uh, but that is it for this one. This is the Wide Garage by Ikes. It's beautiful. Um, I'm not sure when I would have a farm big enough to require something like this. But hopefully, if, if I ever have a series going and we have a nice big American or a massive European farm on the go, I'm going to try and get one of these down because it is it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.